Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Brannon. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, everybody. Come on. All right. Well, I was trying to think how to come out here for you guys, right? Everybody bought tickets. You spent your hard-earned money to see me. It was like, you got to give them a show. What are you going to do? You're going to run back and forth. You're going to play some schoolboy cue over the loudspeakers, get everybody hyped. <laughs> but it's just not worth it, you know? Like, look at this right now. It's a wonderful outlet. People are going to hear this. You guys are listening to this. I got a microphone, lights. Can't just joke around like that. So before I do any jokes, I just want to say this. There's a group in this country that's taking advantage of every single person in here. And it's like nobody's even upset. Nobody even really wants to talk about it. We're in the middle of an election year, right? And nobody wants to bring this up. Everybody knows what group I'm talking about. Spiders. <laughs> Lazy, inconsiderate, entitled ass spiders are ruining our way of life and nobody's even upset. See, you guys are drunk right now. Nobody's knocking over a chair or anything. I don't get it. I read a statistic the other day that said you're no more than six feet away from a spider at any given point in your entire life. You understand the gravity of that? That means, unless you live in a six-foot house, which I hope you don't, everybody pay money to listen to these jokes, you can save your money. I appreciate the support, but you're homeless. You live in a shed, have some goals in your life. But for everybody else, that means there's a spider in every single person's house right now. Did you invite them in? I didn't. That's bullshit. And now I gotta respect you, because you're a part of nature. They hell with that, spider. And it sucks, because every time I try to talk about spiders, there's always somebody that gets in my face. Somebody tries to defend spiders. Oh, Nathan, you should respect spiders. They built their own home using nothing but their body. That's not the way things work, okay? You built your own home, but you built it in my home. What the hell is that? If that was the way the world worked, I'd be in the White House right now with a tent telling Obama to turn the heat up, okay? <laughs> And don't give me none of that, we gotta conserve energy. No, the hell with that. That's where my tax dollars went. That thermostat, turn it up, Obama. <laughs> oh, Nathan, they get rid of all the flies and the pests in your house. No, the hell with that. Those are my flies, okay? Those are my pests. You can't just come into my habitat and start poaching my wildlife just cause you a spider. Spider. Just cause I'm not gonna eat those flies doesn't mean you can just come in and take them, right? Few of you, you may have apples in your house. They may not be your first choice, but if I broke into your house and started eating all your apples, you'd hit me in the head with a baseball bat. <laughs> you know you would, that's the least you would do. So why is it out of the question that I go after a spider with a baseball bat? Hmm? <laughs> now I gotta change my medication? Ain't nothing wrong with me. <laughs> These damn spiders, man, I'm telling you. I even tried to give spiders a chance, right? I was like, Nathan, you can't blindly hate stuff, right? You gotta research them. Maybe you'll even learn to love them, who knows? So I researched these assholes and I hate them even more. <laughs> the first one I read about was the Black Widow, you know? And the female Black Widow, as soon as she's impregnated by the male, she kills him, she eats him on the spot. As soon as he comes, she makes him a sandwich. Like, makes him a sandwich. <laughs> Not everybody went to college, I'm just checking. <laughs> but that's messed up, right? And I'm not trying to even defend the male spider like that. I'm sure he took part in some kind of privilege that the Black Widow didn't get to participate in. And... Plus, he had sex when, as he was dying. That's like the best way to go out. So I don't feel bad. <laughs> For that male spider, I just want to know why, right? First of all, you don't even know if that male spider was into you like that, Black Widow. He could have been in college experimenting and you just killed him off of principle? For what? You trying to be the greatest single mother that's ever lived? 
You'll never do that, because Barack Obama's mom's a single mom, and he's a two-term president. All your kids are just going to grow up to be spiders, and they're fucking useless. And Charlotte's Web, the only reason they let Charlotte stay on the farm is because she was the only one that knew how to write. You think if any other animal knew how to write, they'd give her the time of day? I don't think so. They didn't even ask how she got on the farm. They just let her work. Like, she just showed up and started working. Like those junkies that try to clean your windshield at the light. Like, I'm helping you right now. I'm saving your life. No, you're not. You're just making me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> that was too political right off the bat, right? I get it. That's what I like to do. I like to make everybody feel real tense and then see if I can chip that away. <laughs>